Good evening, everybody. We've got here 1v1 on Arabia. Of course, we are playing with two of the pros, Velez and Lix. So, let's get right into it. Velez is playing in the blue as the Celts, and his enemy in the red playing as the Khmer is Lix. I'm going to fast forward just a little bit as we begin to go through the Dark Age. Starting out as far as maps go, uh, quite a good wall off potential. Still a couple of awkward places, but overall not too bad for Lix. Playing as the Khmer, of course, wall offs are very good. You can throw houses in there, hide villagers, makes it a little bit easier later on. Already starting to push a deer in. That is good with those deer in the location that they were. Taking a look at Velez's map, playing as the Celts, he it, he will have to go quite a bit forward if he would choose to wall up here. Unlikely at this point in time. Much more open map for Velez. Uh, on this entire western side, he is pretty much wide open unless he's wanting to walk all the way across here, which is unlikely at this point in time. He could get a nice wall off in the back, though. Looks like he might be going for that. Yes, he is walling just to the edge of the map here on the south side. And then to the north, he can just wall in a little bit from these tree lines. And he will have this entire back corner. The issue with that is, though he does have the two golds, he will be pretty cramped in compared to where he might be if he was in, say, Lix's position. And Lix has done just a little bit of a house on the side here, hasn't started walling, quite the same as what we're seeing from Velez. Velez very much so walling up early, wanting to get that protection in as quickly as possible. Both the players right now on 19 population, and dropping a barracks right now is Velez Lix. No barracks as of yet, but Lix has spotted the barracks, loses a lot of HP on his scout. That is huge especially when we know there's a Drush coming forward to attack him. With this Dark Age Rush moving forward, that may cause some issues, though it will be known by Lix that it is coming, and I will just slow down a little bit as both the players are reaching the point of Feudal Age. Velez deciding to go up on 20 pop, but of course, or sorry, 20 vils, but of course he will be a little bit delayed to the feudal age and because of the Khmer not needing the initial barracks to build their stable a stable is immediately getting dropped by Lix we will see scouts coming out in defense against this militia rush Lix looks pretty safely walled in of course also building houses that he can hop in and out of with any of his villagers uh, we have seen a little bit of idle time from his very villagers. Villagers spending time building walls and houses. But if we're talking about spending time building walls and houses, Velez has spent a lot of time doing the same. Man at Arms has come in now for the Celt player Velez. And he is looking to put as much pressure on as possible as archers will be coming across shortly. He already has an archer coming out, a spearman coming out as well, as he has seen that there are stable units inside this stable. And of course, Feudal Age is going to be scouts. So a spearman is coming forward with that faster Good. infantry speed Good. of the Celts that does add a little bit of uh, speed to get there. And the scouts, three now for Lix, will be able to do an initial push. But with the Spearmen and three man at arms, don't want to be engaging against that army. We do see an archery range now also coming forward for Lix. As the first archer is coming in for Velez. Velez now won't be able to stream all the way across the map, especially with these scouts running around. He will want to move in groups now as one archer here or there could be picked off pretty easily as you can see here attacking the wood line not too much that Lix can do right now with this one archer able to hit his villagers but he decides to just hide inside the house of course being a great bonus of the commerce civilization lots of delays and lots of idle time as we see the massive archers starting to get up for 
Velez, no but he still Rania. does have skirmishers to fight up against. So even in that critical mass, if there are skirmishers involved, they will be able to fight back. But right now, I would get, definitely give the military edge to Velez. Villager-wise, both players currently on 29, with a slight villager lead for Licks. Uh, that just might be due to slight idle time of the town center. And as you can see, we do have some eco upgrades coming in as the first engagement starts. The skirmishers are trying to engage, but weak, one weak scout and uh, a little bit more HP right now for Velez as these scouts will not want to engage against this main force and getting a couple of free shots is Velez. Velez just hovering on this hill wanting to keep his advantage where he can as he does have the military advantage 13 military for him only 9 for Licks but of course the mobility of these scouts could be problematic later however Velez is fully walled in do not believe there is a hole there so he doesn't need to worry right now about any raids coming in lots of different upgrades having to come in for these armies of course wanting to get the infantry protection extra H extra defense on his man-at-arms on his spearmen and that will give him a slight edge going into any of these engagements against the skirms as well as the scouts of course, the archers sticking in there, wanting to get as much damage as possible. And look at this, the spear's completely out. And Velez's army pretty much cleaned up at this point in time. Lick's doing a great job to engage there. Saw the spears were out, saw that they were way too far away from the rest of the army. So the scouts being very effective against no spears. And now the military lead, while still in Velez's favor, is not too large. Taking a brief look at HPs, we do see a couple of these with low HP for Licks, but it's pretty even with the ones for Velez. I would actually give a slight military lead just because of the scouts. They are so mobile that they can cause much more damage and can choose where to fight. Whereas this Kid. army of archers and spears are much slower and will able, be able to only move in a group. Airlock. And taking a look at the economies of both of them, both hovering around 400, 500 food. Not quite at the gold amount to go up to Castle Age. Both players will be looking to go up to Castle Age shortly. But one thing to note, Licks with a three villager lead at this point in time. And mind you, that's not because the villager's getting picked off. That's just because of idle TC time. It's because wheelbarrows come in. But it is a little bit of a problem as time goes on. Of course, Licks will need to upgrade and get wheelbarrow. But he decides to go to the Castle Age first. Both now have clicked up. Licks will be slightly ahead, but not enough to really make a massive impact. As two stables are coming out for the Kelp player. Don't like the idea of stopping building the closer to finished stable to start a new one. But that might be... Both of them will make it up by the time Castle Age comes in. Archer upgrades are coming in for the extra defense, as well as forging for the extra attack on the infantry and cavalry. As you can see, when you're going for archers as well as cavalry, as well as spears, lots of upgrades are needed in order to be effective with your army. And right now Lick's just playing hit and run, playing hit and run. As he does have a villager lead, he does not have the military lead. This is a large group of archers that will be crossbows shortly. And these spearmen able to go out. They will be able to catch these skirms as well as archer off guard as the spearmen run around, chase away the scouts. And we will see quite a bit of Lix's army falling to this small army of Velez. 
Of course, both players very close up to the Castle Age now. We will see crossbows come in, no doubt, and likely will see some knights coming through to clear up a little bit of the military. Right off the bat, two knights already on the way for licks. Velez getting Bodkin Arrow and Crossbow before sending out any knights. I am interested why he did build these two stables and a monastery. Not going for knights immediately, although he does now click up for knights. So both of them going for two knights as well as Crossbow and Bodkin just in slightly different order. Obviously with all of these archers, you do want them upgraded to Crossbow as soon as possible so that they are not caught out before the upgrades come in against knights that are coming forward. So these crossbows now will be engaging crossbow versus crossbow, but this is a large mass for the blue Celt player that is Velez. Militarily, twice as much army for Velez and counting as he is slightly behind on villager counts, still just with the one town center, building his second one up. Now Lix already has his second one up. But the military right now, there's nothing really that Lix can do to combat this many crossbows with the army that sits in front. The entire army of Lix could go down here. Interestingly enough, Velez chooses not to engage immediately underneath those circumstances, but does clean up most of Lix's army. Now only eight military for Lix and a elephant coming out. Of course, Khmer being very strong with their elephants, but one elephant here, one elephant there, will not be able to do the damage necessary to push the enemy back. Two town centers are already up for licks. Third one going up on the back stone. That will cause a lot of protection. Farms are getting raided by Velez, but will not lose too many villagers. May lose one more. No, he is able to garrison in time. And this gold will be rangeable out of range of the town centers. As long as Velez is able to stay in this little spot, he will be able to deny the gold for the time being. But now the military of Lix is enough to engage. He runs right into the crossbows. Crossbow is able to do some damage to the knights, but this army of Velez is up now completely even for military numbers eight versus eight and now seven versus seven economically speaking they are very close with licks with a one villager lead Velez building his third town center now so both will be on three town centers as a barracks is getting dropped forward next to the siege workshop and there's not too much that can fight against Celt Siege Pikemen. There is a hole right here in the wall for Velez. Not sure if that will be taken advantage of by Lix, but Lix looking to go around and surprise Velez in his base. A mangonel already out on the map for Velez and monks to protect that mangonel and to get any conversions that might be needed. As knights are coming around with these crossbows, he will be able to see the enemy town center pretty shortly. He doesn't know it's there yet. But while he is engaging on the front and running around trying to surprise Velez, there are mangonels coming forward right into his base. Deciding to take out the monastery first, a battering ram already coming forward, and these knights will get a free, a couple free shots on them, but they will run around as a wall was thought about being built, but was not quite put down by Velez. Meantime, Velez pushing very hard on the front. Light cavalry coming out, do pick off that monk, run away before losing any of them. No Bob Rania. As you can see, engaging, trying to take out this wall, unaware that it is open just on the other side. But massive blow to Velez's economy as he is attacking on the front, but not doing the damage that he is receiving from Lix right now. 
all of these villagers not collecting right now. They will move to other locations. That is huge. Licks though. Big army right in front of his base. Unsure if he has what it takes to fight against this. With most of his army sitting in the back trying to do raids. So how long can Licks last before he's forced into a back corner? Bye. He is doing damage in the back of Velez's base. Velez has lots of idols, lots of wasted time. And as you can see here, the knights unable to do the damage against the mangonels. But a castle is up for the Khmer player. This castle will protect this gold, it will protect the farms, and it will protect this wood line to a degree. And of course, a mangonel coming out in defense as well goes down without getting shot off and these two mangonels able to continue their pressure in the meantime these pikemen that have been sent in one at a time are getting picked off by the crossbows this little army has been able to do quite a bit of damage for licks as these pikemen not sure what is going on whether there's a gather point over here that must be the case no not quite but getting picked off quite a bit and of course very messy game for both players at this point in time but I do give the slight edge to Velez as you can see points wise he does have a, a military he is pretty even on the military but he has an economic advantage and he now is running in with knights they do have plus one attack plus two defense whereas Lix only has the one plus one defense and he calls it after being caught out. That castle getting put up completely changed the game, protected this economy, and allowed him to safely collect resources. Fantastic game.